Hey there guys, I'm Connie Mayer. This is Scar TV. With me today is Spencer, like usual. And today we're doing uh, part two of the Saga Short Tales, Tomo number three. Spencer, how are you enjoying this cigar so far? It's kind of a different sort of cigar. It's 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 very it's in a nice little Vitola here. Kind of like a Petite Corona, I would say, a little shorter than a regular Corona. Yeah. But it's a really, it's got a lot of flavor. We're booming mainly from this Nicaraguan wrapper. It's be a high priming of the leaf because it's, it's loaded with a lot of sugars and flavor. Yeah. Uh, it has a nice sweet taste to it. Um, it's a little bitter, but nothing too overpowering. And so far, it's just a really great stick. It has good flavor to it and all that. Draws really good. Uh, what else are you getting from this cigar? Very kind of earthy, kind of caramelly taste in it. I think that's probably from the broadleaf and the filler, some of it, along with this Nicaraguan wrapper. It kind of gives it a little more of a bolder touch. Yeah. Without the cigar being overpowering, because it's not. It's just very, it's very well made. It burns well. Yeah, uh, having uh, a saga for the first time, how do you say that you would go and get more of this stuff to try? I would be interesting, try, interested in trying more of their cigars, yes. I find it to be quite interesting. I've had Saga before, but this is my first time having like the Short Tells version of their product. How do they compare to the others? The other ones are pretty good. Uh, this one is slightly different from the other ones, though. And this one just came out this year's IPCPR in July, so yes. it's a very new release. Very new indeed. Uh, so, for a new cigar that just came out, and all that it has phenomenal taste to it and all that so i think it's, i think it's excellent it's very it's very different like i can kind of the nicaraguan wrapper is your main flavor on here because you know everybody knows i don't have to say the wrapper tobacco is most of your flavor yes 70 80 percent but i can kind of maybe it's just me i can kind of taste the broad leaf in the filler a little bit and it, it adds a little extra note i like it it's a little different, and they cap it off with that Indonesian binder, which is appears to be pretty neutral binder to me. It really allows flavors to come through. Yeah. So I think it was a pretty interesting blend of tobacco, and they got it right. You know, they got it right. Indeed, I'm kind of uh, getting like a uh, metallic-y taste from it, just very slightly, unlike the aftertaste. That's interesting. Okay, I see what you're talking about a little bit. Yeah, so it it's very subtle in it, and it like kind of sneaks up, but very subtly. It is very subtle. Now, take a look at that ash right there. It's nice and compact, very well constructed. Uh, like I said in the last video, the wrapper is dark but light at the same time. So I thought that was pretty cool. And there's not much more really to go off on the cigar. I would say that it's like uh, 15 to 30 minutes to smoke it. So it's a very short cigar. Um, it has good flavor to it. What other size, sizes do they offer in that, Cody? Do you know? They have two other sizes. This one being the smallest. They got like medium size, which would probably be a little bit bigger than a uh, Robusto, maybe. A little bit bigger than Robusto, and then like the biggest one I'd say would be like a Churchill. Interesting. I like this little size too, so you can really kind of taste the flavor. It's not overloaded with filler. Yeah. And also, like I said, it draws really good, so you get a really nice cloud of smoke. Uh, I'd put the smokiness at like probably a 7 or 8. 
I'd say so too for a small cigar it's extremely smoky Cody very smoky for a smaller cigar so yeah that's what we got for today's review Sawyer Short Tales Tomo number three uh, like I said in the last video this box only cost me about uh, fifty four dollars or so so how many you get ten? ten in a box yeah it's pretty good so just to reference it real fast here is the box it looks like a book probably easier to see in this video than it was in the last video but yeah that's made by the Reyes family too that it is they make some really good sticks you know they're not I mean they're kind of, kind of made a name, name for themselves with their, their more expensive scar the Don Julio Quartz which is fantastic but I think this is a better buy. How much are they a single? Like five, six bucks a piece, six, seven? I would say about that, yeah. That's not bad, you know? Especially if you like, you want a quick, quicker smoke. I'd probably say for this one, it'd probably be like $5 or so. That's a good price. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we got today. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Please uh, like and subscribe down below if you have not already. Uh, please suggest future cigar review topics like different brands and all that and different tips and tricks or gadgets like that also so we can continue to bring you uh, our best uh, explanation of what we find that would be a good cigar or gadget to review just to help y'all out. So until then, stay smoky, and I'll see you next time.